Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at the airfield today to test the Sim2 Moment selfie drone. This is a GPS visual positioning sonar brushless motor folding drone. You do fly it with your phone. There's no dedicated transmitter for this that I have seen yet. I don't think there ever will be, but it does come with a nice case. We're gonna take a closer look at what comes in the box with this fairly briefly, and then we're gonna fly it for you guys and let you know what we think. But before we do all of that, I wanna send everybody watching, whether you're a subscriber, maybe you're just tuning in for the first or second or third time because you're shopping for a GPS drone and you want an honest opinion of what's gonna be the best bang for your buck, or maybe you just were scrolling through YouTube and saw a drone thumbnail that looks kinda of cool any of you guys, you're invited. We're gonna be at the AMA Airfield in Muncie, Indiana from noon to four on Sunday, August 26th. I know that's coming up pretty fast, but we'll be there. And if you want to maybe buy a hat, we might have some, maybe a shirt. You want us to sign a hat, sign a plane or something, or just come and say hi and, and uh, hang out and show us a drone that you like or a plane that you like, we'll, we'll be there flying. So bring something, bring your AMA insurance and we'd love to see you there. Now the SIM2 moment is, as I said, a selfie drone. It fits in this little box, which is okay. It's actually a pretty nice little box, but you don't have to keep it because it comes with a case. And it's a nice case. It's a kind of hard shell but it's also soft enough that it has a little ply to it. I like cases like this and, and it zips closed very nicely. It's a good size. Unfortunately, you know, the, the, uh, the charge cable, when, once you put it in here, like you would think it should go in, it kind of struggles to close. And so they, they, in the box, when you get it, all of your wiring goes in here. So it's a good case. Some of the charging stuff fits in here, two spots for batteries, but not all of the charge cables, so I don't really like that. Worth mentioning because this used to be a $300 drone. Now it's about $220. We'll have a link in the description box below. And, and just keep in mind that the camera on here is actually a 4K camera. I think it was 12 megapixels. It'll do 1080p at 60 frames per second, I believe, and uh, 720p, and, and you can adjust the camera angle up and down. You know, it really is designed, look at that, it's really cool to be a folding, traveling, selfie drone. Uh, the idea here is saving on space. You've got this little, small case with a couple batteries in there, hopefully your charger, and then you've got this drone that you unfold, take that out, pop your two cell LiPo battery in here. It's a 2900 milliamp LiPo that just slides in and locks in place. And you power on, you get your phone connected, and you're ready to fly. That's the idea anyway. As I said, they are brushless motors, and I, I like the cage around the motors. If you're going to have a selfie drone and you're taking off and landing from your hand, then having the cage there to protect your fingers is very nice. It's permanently built-in prop guards. Now, most of the time, that would affect the flight efficiency of a drone like this. You wouldn't want to have something above and below it, but they're so small, of little bars, little spokes like a bicycle wheel, that it really doesn't affect it too much. We're supposed to get about a 12 to 15 minute flight time on one battery. And to take the battery off, you have to fold the drone down, pinch the two sides, and then pull up. It just has these metal prongs that make the contact, but it's in this proprietary casing. And, uh, you know, proprietary, those of us that are truly in the hobby, Usually we don't like that very much, so keep that in mind. A couple things about the bottom of the drone here. Uh, we see a camera in the middle. That is for visual positioning. When you don't have a good satellite lock with a GPS and you're flying maybe indoors, because this would be an okay indoor drone, you can have the flight stabilized a bit more solid with the visual positioning. And then on top of that, back here we have a sonar device that also helps keep it in a rock solid spot. Now, one thing to note for any beginner pilot out there, or if you're just not familiar with a gimbal, uh, this is motorized. You can adjust it up and down 
in flight and they even have a little note on here I'm reminding you guys not to try and move that up and down by hand you could damage the little motor in there so keep that in mind small instruction manual with an allen wrench to find the app for your phone just type moment drone in the app store whether it's Apple or Samsung to our knowledge iOS or Android yes thank you Abby uh, <laughs> They both should work. That's the I'm here. Charger is a, is a pretty nice little setup. It looks just as good as anything like a laptop charger or, you know, maybe as even good as a DJI type thing. It did a good job. You just plug this into the wall and this plugs into the bay here. And then your battery plugs directly into that. There's a little blue indicator letting you know when it's charging and it's charged. That's everything that comes with this. It's very simple, very minimalistic design. You just have the folding drone, a battery, a charger, a case, and some instructions. Let's fly this and see how it does. In this video, we decided that Abby will fly it uh, because she's a bit better at using the phone to fly a drone. Now, we did do the calibration process and it was easy. It worked very well the first time with no issues. That like never happens. Never, now, especially not on these little, uh, I wanna say off-brand, but still kind of expensive drones. And then we were also able to uh, do the camera settings with the video um, feed. So we have 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Um, and we were able to do photos, so it was defaulted at what, eight megapixels? Yeah, so but we, we cranked it, it to 16. 16. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can do the sensitivity. So um, Nathan put it in advance, so uh -huh. I guess that's what I'm gonna be I think Because it's so windy, you should, yeah. And then you can change your joysticks from mode one to mode two, or how they have it listed as USA model. And, and Japan. J JPN, which I'm guessing is Japan. Go ahead and do your takeoff if you can get it. I think it's this little jet taking off down there. The drone will take off automatically to 1.5 meters height. Please ensure the surrounding environment first. Perfect. Confirm. It's so far a good drone, so far. There, I hear it powering on. We calibrated it well, and uh, we're standing here just to be in some shade, because remember, Abby has a little baby in her belly. Okay, look at you go there. Okay, so it's really weird that it's not like you put your thumbs in the middle and are able to control it. You have to click Touch the buttons. The buttons. Yes. Which means you can't really watch the drone and fly at the same time. That's you have right. You to look down. Yeah. So technically, you're kind of not maintaining line, line of sight. Line of a little bit, yeah. Uh, our good friend, Andy RC, did this almost a year ago. Uh, this has been out for a little while now, about a year. And he said the same thing about... Something else unusual is I can't, if I wanna go left with the drone, it only lets me go left to a certain point. Oh, now it's letting me. Mm -hmm. A second maybe ago it didn't let me. Maybe your finger just slipped off of the button, possibly. Maybe. A second ago it did not let me, though. Which is kind of one of the downsides yeah. to flying with a phone. So here's some y'all. Let's. It is a selfie drone, so let's point it at us and do, do a little selfie shot here. Well, this is an advanced mode and this is taking forever. Slow. But would you want it to fly much faster? Probably not. Okay, flying from you your said phone? this is the button up here that is like Adjust a camera your... with like circle arrow looking things. Yeah, the top right button. That is, you hit that and then you can go Why up and down. Why does look crooked? Because it's fighting the wind. It's very windy. Right now it is, it is having crooked. to pitch that far just to maintain that spot because of the wind. And that's why you want a gimbal. <laughs> it does help. But, Abby, remember, this is $220, and a drone with a gimbal is about double the cost. Okay, so that's a all good, the way a good down. Gimbal. So all I did, the only way I can get it to work I is can to see press it. and hold. Yeah, it's, it's a slow-moving process. You can't, like, just click it and it move. Are you sure? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta I mean, hold you it. You kind of can, but you have to hold on to it for a while before it finally Let's is see. like, okay. One thing that I want to point out to you guys that I didn't mention on the ground is behind the battery, where you put the battery in on the drone, is a slot. And that slot is for a micro SD card. It does not come with one. You need one. Whose dog is that? Yeah, <laughs> let's. This, this is. It, I'm not. Okay, There's okay. Another one. <laughs> it's, uh, it's John's doggies. They're, uh, they're good little dogs. <laughs> we have to make a pit stop today, so that's why Popeye's not with us. So, but the micro SD card slot that yeah. I was saying is uh, not included, and it just pops in right behind the battery. So, a nice, easy spot. 
Fly a little farther away. Get a good little shot of us, Abby. Of us? Yeah. GPS drone. You should be should be able to fly pretty confidently. So there should be like a return to home and Absolutely. Everything? Absolutely. Okay. The the icons on this are way different from everybody else's. Yeah. What I'm trying to figure out are what are these pictures in the middle of the joysticks? One's like a rates looking thing and it one's looks like, like a, a yeah, one looks like a speedometer and the other one looks like a compass needle. I click them and nothing happens. So what we're doing for you guys, we're doing a screen recording on Abby's phone so you can see our actual Wi-Fi FPV feed, but then we're also saving directly to that micro SD card. So you should have a nice clean 1080p uh, video image. And, and I've seen the video of this drone. It's good. It's a real shame. Do you guys remember the drone that we did recently on the channel, a GPS drone, uh, Seafly? Not the obtain. What was it called, Abby? The that's dream. The dream. It, it's a shame that it didn't have a camera of this level of quality so on the dream. What are these buttons? Land. That's a land, and that's return to home. So do you want to try return to home? Go for it. Yeah. And is this the follow me? Yes. And what you have to do is draw a square around yourself. So maybe I'll go out there yeah. and try it. Sure. Go for it. Abby's gonna try follow me. We're also trying to keep track of the flight time of this. I will say. You gotta admit, Abby, this thing is holding a position pretty rock solid. Because it's fighting the wind. Yes. She keeps saying it's crooked. She says, ah, it's crooked, it's crooked. Well, there's a reason for that. It's windy. And so for a drone that doesn't have a gimbal to fight the wind, it has to hold that position that it's in perfectly to fight the wind. If there was no wind at all, it would be perfectly level. Okay, so she's... Trying to follow me. I don't think it works very well on this drone. She may be lining it up now. Hard to tell. We should be able to see what she's doing on her phone, though. I like stuff like this. I like a drone like this. They're, they're making an effort. They're a little bit different. The Sim 2 Dragonfly was a huge flop. This seems to be doing a lot better than that dragonfly. I don't know. She may not be having any luck because she's been working at it for a minute here. Any luck, Abby? It is holding rock solid. Rock solid. That's really good. But she is trying to line up the follow me. Oh, there it goes. It's moving a bit. That may be her. If you're not having any luck, come on back. Maybe do a return to home. Yeah, tell us what was going on as when you get closer. Tell us what was going on with the uh, follow me, because I know for for Andy, it also didn't work very well. Well, mine didn't work anywhere near as well as Andy's did. Okay. Andy was able to draw a box around his subject. Yes, I remember that. It just said, "Click on the target you want to follow." Ah. So I kept clicking on me, and I tried to draw something around me, and it just kept saying, "No target detected." Okay. I don't know. Hit return to home. Which we think is this one? Uh, that's my guess, yeah. The one Confirm that... to auto return home. Yeah. Confirm. It's got a little airplane with a circle around it. Kind of just put two and two together. Yeah. Um, well, I applaud you for trying Sorry, so hard. <laughs> that's okay. It's a great flying drone. So I was telling everybody, uh, you were kind of... I want to say almost like complaining that the drone was on its side, but you understand why. It's... I understand, yeah, okay. but it just looks m more obvious that it's crooked than most drones. Okay, okay. It must just be its shape. I Can, mean, that's not what? very far off. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. 
That's a, about a five feet. Well, yeah, okay, I was gonna say a few feet. All right, let's do an auto takeoff. And you gotta hit record again because I had to stop Will recording do. to get to try to I, do all that. I assume it's this in the middle. It's either gonna take yeah. a photo or there. Video counting indicator, so that's good. All right, let's see how this flies. Now, one thing that I like about this that I think you guys will appreciate too is all the telemetry on screen. I have uh, 15 satellites connected. 38% battery left, I'm 3.6 meters high. So telemetry is nice and we can actually, it is letting me fly forward and yawing at the same time, that's good. You can give it more than one input. You just have to look at the phone and see. Okay, yes, I'm hitting the button. <laughs> you know one thing I was doing while I was standing out in the field was I was trying to get it to go lower and it would never lower for me. Uh, let's see if I can get it to go any lower. Like I held it for a long time and it would never lower. I know, but I'm just telling you I couldn't. Hmm. I thought it was weird. Hey, too. I got it just fine. So, yeah. I, okay, let's let's. Uh, I don't want to. I probably sound there like, like waypoints or something with this. Well, let's get a little bit higher up, and we don't have much juice left, so we may not be able to see that. But why don't I see you at all? I'm just right above that oh, little. There you, there you go. We do have a few more things here. We've got. That's our gallery. No, it's we don't need that. It's all going to say stop recording, too. Yeah, I don't think we have... Okay, let's stop recording. We'll just go right into the app, see what we can do. That's uh, editing software. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Strange. It's like there's nothing else. No. I tried clicking up there and it didn't do anything where it says I think GPS. That, I want to go back to the camera for everybody. I think mostly this drone is a very nice docile flying selfie drone. A little over $200, but it does have a good camera. It really does. There's no gimbal, so that's a downside, but as a travel drone, that's kind of a hard thing to add. Now, Sim 2 isn't the best company out there. We have a low battery indicator. Okay. I think I'm just going to return to home again. Okay. Make it easy on myself. So return to home. I'll let it continue to record as it flies back. We have 23% battery life one left. One thing that's different about this one than other drones is it gains no altitude. When it before. returns? Yeah. Yeah. Usually drones gain altitude and then return to home. This is definitely not the best drone on the market. Me personally, I'd rather have a dedicated transmitter. Look, oh, it's going to land really close to where it took off. Not bad, not bad. The Sim 2 moment. It is um, better than I expected. I can honestly say that. I was expecting this thing to get out there and not even be able to stay in the air. Just like the Sim 2 Dragonfly. It really couldn't fly at all and it was a much more expensive drone than this. This is much more up my alley for what I like in a selfie type drone than what that dragonfly was. It was huge. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was a long time ago. This has nice brushless motors. It had a good long flight time. I didn't feel rushed to get it in the air and land it quickly. We've had drones that cost hundreds of dollars that only flew for literally 20 seconds. Uh, this was much better than that. The camera quality was really nice, but I think Abby would rebuttal with, well, it doesn't have a gimbal. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's if it's windy, you're gonna be looking at everything crooked. A lot of people, email us or comment and they want a drone under a certain price point and they want everything everything gimbal 4k just everything it's not there yet. it's not there yet guys it's not going to be there for a long 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 time if you have a budget then you're looking at something like this or like the bugs 2w yes anything like that but if you're wanting a gimbal you have to step up to that higher price range maybe the spark and it's not even as high as it used to be yeah. it used to be it used to cost thousands or eight at least eight thousand at least a thousand now it costs hundreds four hundred five hundred dollars but something like this a couple years ago maybe not probably one of even existed but if it did it would have been at least a thousand dollars now when it came out it was around three hundred dollars here we have it at 220 it's not perfect not even close. Uh, the app would be nice if it was a bit more cleaned up, but it functioned. 
We flew the drone, we got pretty shots of what we were flying around. You could take a photo, no problem. And if you were smart and you were flying this in the evening when there'd be less wind than what we were flying with, all of your shots would be level and nicer looking than this crooked flying the whole time. So it can fly in wind, which is one reason we wanted to test this. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be able to. It wouldn't be able to compensate well, for that. But it it was pretty solid. I'm honestly impressed. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's not perfect, but if it was perfect, they'd charge a couple hundred more dollars for it. Exactly. It's 220 for a reason. And if you have $200 in your pocket and you want a GPS drone, this is a solid contender. I also like the Bugs 2W. If you're new to our channel, you should check that video out. It's a really good GPS drone and it has a dedicated transmitter. You can fly a bit faster. But I honestly think if I can remember right, this camera is of a lot better quality than what was on the Bugs 2W. It's just not there yet. Why can't they take that Sea Fly Dream, the little baby spark knockoff thing, and put this camera on there? You would think they could. This is 220. The Dream is 300. Take this off of that one, put it on that drone. Voila, everything's perfect. Just not there yet, just not there. I think we'll have that someday, uh, but for the time being, this is a solid drone, it really is. I think that a person that had this, if, if you're able to find a second battery, uh, then you have, you have a lot of fun with it. You can get it in the air for 25, 30 minutes with two batteries. The flight time was nothing to scoff at. I enjoyed flying this, I'll be honest with you. For a phone controlled drone, it was not bad. We'll have a link in the description box below. We're really looking forward to seeing you guys in Muncie, Indiana. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.